let us discuss this example so in this example we have a function and we have to find an interval where the function is decreasing in previous video we have already seen the condition for the function is increasing or decreasing in a given interval if derivative of f is positive we say the function is increasing and if the derivative of f is negative we say the function is decreasing that means for checking function is increasing or decreasing first we need to find derivative of function so let us find derivative of f and then we will go further so see let us find its derivative f dash of x 2 is constant derivative of x cube is 3x square minus 9 deri 9 is constant derivative of x square is 2x plus 12 derivative of x is 1 and 4 is constant so derivative is 0 so what will we have here 6x square minus 18x plus 12 so this is the derivative of function so after finding derivative what will we do we will find its factors can we take 6 common yes definitely if I take 6 common, so we will have x square minus 3x plus 2. Can we find its factors here? The sum is minus 2 and the product is, sorry, the product is 2 and sum is minus 3. So it will be x minus 1, x minus 2. So the product is minus 1, minus 2 is 2 and the sum minus 1 plus minus 2 is minus 3. So these are required factors of this polynomial. Okay. So we'll mention, we know that, we know that f is decreasing f is decreasing if f dash of x is less than 0 function when the when we say the function is decreasing if its derivative is negative so let us con consider this condition and we will go further so yeah here let us consider consider we are considering f dash of x is less than 0 what is value of f dash of x? Let us put it there. So, therefore, we have, therefore, 6, x minus 1, x minus 2, less than 0. See, here 6 is a constant, positive constant. If you divide both sides by 6, you will have the same inequality. So, therefore, what can we write? See, after dividing both sides by 6, what will you get? Therefore, x minus 1, x minus 2 is less than 0. See, product of two numbers is negative. That means one is positive and the second is negative. So, therefore, what can we write? So, therefore, x minus 1 is less than 0 and x minus 2 is greater than 0. Or the second possibility is first one is positive and second one is negative. First one is negative, second one is positive or first one is positive, second one is negative. Let us shift 1 on that side, so x is less than 1. Let us shift minus 2 on that side, so we will have x is greater than 2. Or, let us do the same, x is, I am shifting minus 1 on that side, greater than 1. And, I am shifting minus 2 on that side, so x is less than 2. So, therefore, what we get, x is less than 1. And x is greater than 2. Can you give me one number which is less than 1 and greater than 2? It is, is it possible? No, it is not possible. So, the first case is not possible. Okay. So, I will mention it is not possible. The first case is not possible. Getting? Let us go for the second case. Or, x is greater than 1 and less than 2. That means we can write 1 less than x less than 2. Getting? So, therefore, x lies in interval 1 comma 2. It lies between 1 and 2. Now, so, what we say? Yes, what we had assumed f dash of x is less than 0, which is condition for decreasing function. And we, we got x belongs to this interval. Therefore, f is decreasing. It is a decreasing function on which interval? 1, 2. So, in this way, we completed this example. Make a screenshot of it, then we'll stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.